I'm honored to uh, speak a word about Rosa Clemente. Uh, her, this sister's a freedom fighter. You know, that's how I see her, that's how I know her. And when she speaks with such command, you know that her words are not only sincere, but they penetrate, they shatter people's complacency. Uh, every movement needs a Rosa Clemente. Uh, not only to wake them up, shake them up, but to encourage them to stand up. We got too many people a little too comfortable with oppression. And Rosa Clemente makes you uncomfortable of tolerating injustice. And for that, I what salute I thought my about sister. her, I think she's a real sister. She spoke from the heart and um, she inspired me. Like I know I'm multifaceted and it's like she inspired me to be more involved and to really like open up my worldly horizons, you know, like when she was talking about Puff Daddy and Russell Simmons, um, it's like I never looked at it like that. I never looked at Puff Daddy to be that way. Like I always looked at him as someone that was a role model or someone as that I could look up to, you know, but it's like now I see them in a whole different way. It's like you got all this money, but what are you really doing with all that money other than showering yourself with gifts, you know what I'm saying? And she opened my eyes to a lot of stuff, a lot of the world, you know, and, and, and you know somebody had an impact on you when they get your mind to thinking about what you can do next, what steps can you take, and how can I join her? You know, just like she said, you're just talking, but what organization are you a part of? And I would like to, you know, m maybe not tomorrow, but in the future work with her, you know, on some stuff and join her at some rallies and definitely go hear her speak again because she's a motivational sister and she helps me to believe in women power and girl power and you know we, we are the herbs of the world we need to protect ourselves basically that's what you know she made me believe that we need to protect ourselves and we need to you know come together you're not unity you know fight against what you believe and speak up against what you believe in it doesn't make you an activist or a wrong person just it just you voicing what you believe in, you know? So that's basically what I got from her. She's a powerful, wonderful, spiritual sister. And thank you, I'm honored. <laughs> thank you. Um, first, I just wanna say, um, when we talk about anti-capitalism, we can talk about that because it exists almost everywhere in the world now, which means we as a generation have to stop being myopic and think that we only deal within the context of the United States. <laughs> There's a world out there, an international world that is affected by everything this government does. And yes, racism exists in Cuba, but you know what also exists there? The ability to talk about issues. Yes, it does, and I traveled there. The ability to go into a hospital and get free health care. Everybody eats, and everybody um, goes to school. And that goes back, it goes to the brother who was talking about down south, about down south, He's, he was saying, how can I be anti-capitalist, you know? Um, here in America, we have what my friend calls a full belly syndrome. Like we can't, we can't even fathom what it would be like to actually just have a house, some nice land, a mode of transportation, and healthcare. Like our full belly syndrome tells us we have to have clothes, different clothes every day. We got to have jewelry, makeup, get our hair done, our nails done, 18 inch rims. That's a full belly syndrome. But meanwhile in the world, one billion people right now don't have access to, to water. So we can be anti-capitalist. And if we talk about it from an international perspective, right? And um, lastly, how do we reclaim the culture? First. You know, a lot of cats talk about hip hop, just like I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. I consider myself a black Puerto Rican. A lot of cats be repping the Puerto Rican flag, but can't even tell me who Don Pedro Aviso Campos was or that there's 11 Puerto Rican political prisoners in the United States. So a lot of cats talk about hip hop, but don't know that there's five elements, right? The rapper, which Crazy Legs right now calls the bastard child of hip hop. The DJ, the lyrics, um, the MC, oh, okay. Backtrack, because he just gave me 10 seconds. The DJ, the graph artist, the breaker, the, the rapper, and the fifth element, which is knowledge and consciousness. So cats, if you, we want to talk about hip hop, read books, study the culture, and, and, and know people like an Africa Bambada to a dead friend, right? That's how we reclaim the culture. Um, I know, I know, I'm, I'm done, but I'm going to finish this last sentence. <laughs> And, and lastly, 
um, to the white woman from, I think it was Iowa, who said, what is hip hop doing for me? That statement just, it, it, it's not a cool statement because hip hop is not supposed to do something for you. No culture is supposed to do anything for a specific person. It's what we do for the culture and how it creates freedom movement for people. So hip hop was never exclusionary, although the basis of it is black and Latino youth who got together because their high school arts and music programs were being cut. Africa Man Bon and DJ Charlie Chase weren't like, white people can't be a part of it, right? Because if that's the case, Eminem wouldn't be making a million dollars per show off rap or from the hip hop culture. So it's what you're going to do for the culture. Just like, and I'll end with this, the Black Liberation Movement. When we talk about civil rights and we talk about 60s, it is the Black Liberation Movement that gave white women their power, okay? It, it is that movement. It wasn't the feminist movement. It was the sisters who were dealing with crazy sexism within the Black Liberation Movement and dealing with sexism within the white fem uh, racism within the white feminist movement. And it's Black Liberation Movements that give us the ability all here Black people do not go and struggle so black people could be free. Black and brown people struggle, and red people struggle, and yellow people struggle so that we could all be free. <laughs>